Hey Possum Pals, welcome to another 11 second 11 tutorial. This week, well, we're cheating a little bit and we're going to have a two-parter. We're going to be talking about the relatively new and powerful render plugin in 11 -D. Put 110 seconds on the clock and let's go. The render plugin is comprised of two short codes for use in your Nunjax liquids or JS templates. It's a plugin that is actually bundled with the main 11D NPM package and is ready to use as soon as you NPM install <clears throat> 11D. To get started with the plugin, you need to install it in your .11d.js config file by requiring the plugin, then initializing it. The two short codes it adds to your project are render template and render file. In this part, let's tackle render template. Render template allows you to put a string between two matching shortcodes and render that string in a templating language different from that of the current template. Here, we have a nunjux index page. In this page, we have a date time. It's not great to read. I want to reformat that in a template with a filter, but um, uh oh, nunjux doesn't have a date filter. Now that my project has the rendered template paired shortcode, I can get to work. The render template tag accepts two arguments, the templating language we wish to use, in this case, liquid, any template string that 11 e config accepts will work in this spot, and an optional set of data. In this case, I want to render the string with liquid, and I want to get a variable off the settings global JS data file that is generating that current date. This allows me to use the powerful date filter in liquid to format the date time string we created. Or for a simpler use case, sometimes writing Markdown is a little bit more ergonomic than writing HTML, so why not embed a little Markdown in your HTML? Note that the Markdown I have here is not indented, and that's because Markdown by default is going to render an indented block as a code block. Save that in, and now we have a full set of HTML rendered from that Markdown. And that's it, that's the, uh, the rendered template tag in about, oh, 110 seconds. If you like this sort of series and like the content that I'm producing, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We'll be back next time with the render file tag from this same render plugin. So until next time, I will see you on the internet.